What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I'm happy to introduce something new to VIP. It's called VIP Labor Guide. That's right, we're gonna be doing our own labor guide after all uh, the negotiation was trying with uh, Motor and even other companies and the problem is the price is too high and I understand that they gotta make money. So, but that doesn't fit our situation and what can we do to solve this problem? It's like the problem is I could not wrap my head around where I have to pay thousands of dollars and other so many other things that I have to do from my end to get the labor guide that it's been offered for free by by the major parts catalog uh, from uh, who advance O'Reilly um, um, what is it called uh, speed dial they offer it for free and now I have to pay thousands of dollars and we have to raise the price on our customers. That's not a that's not a solution for us. And another major issue, as a former mechanic, I used to deal with when the labor guide itself it's wrong. And when uh, you know I used to have argument with my boss, what he says is 0.5, and I used to say, why don't you tell the motor or all data come do it for 0.5? <laughs> it's not about what you say. It's about who's gonna do it for 0.5. So what we need to do we need to build our own labor guide. How can we do that? Obviously, we're not gonna bring cars and take it apart. And I don't think, I, I still doubt they're doing this, but let's assume the motor or all data or Mitchell one, they're taking a car apart and, and everybody's done counting how many hours. Well, guess who's taking the car apart? The real person It's you guys. You're the one who's taking the car apart. You're the guys who are replacing the hub bearing and the engine and all that. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna we we're gonna start with one thing is any every time, every time you guys add labor for certain vehicle, you don't have to add it again. So let me give you an example. I just added I just added the alternator to place and it's it takes 1.7 on a 2018 Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. And if I add the labor again, let's say, but you know what? Forget that. Let's just um, create a new estimate and create a new estimate. And I want to add alternator. Let's say I'm just adding manually 115 or whatever. Let's say I grabbed it from somewhere else. And if I click on labor and I type alternator place 1.7 automatically that's right VIP will let you add so you'll have to add the labor for a certain vehicle just once we're gonna be basing this based on the VIN number but that doesn't mean this vehicle particularly it's gonna have uh, like what if, what if we get another track hawk mark can we get the same uh, labor guide yes we can we want to be as accurate as possible we're going to be basing our labor guide uh, based on uh, uh, based on the VIN number, but not the, the, the serial number, based on the VIN number of the vehicle, meaning the engine size and the model of the vehicle and the manufacturer and all that. So I'm really excited. We're, this is just the beginning of it. Um, basically, you know, like I said, you enter the labor one more time, one time and VIP will remind you after that in 30 days we're hoping that we establish uh first stage of of basically we're going to be sharing all this information with everybody so so it's not going to be just your shop basically we're going to be sure like we have over 1400 shops that use vip shop management we're going to be sharing the data between everybody so vip will search first your own database if the data is not there we're going to search from someone else see if someone else has it and uh, that part is not done yet i've already started uh, stage one stage one basically is vip searching your own database if vip could not find any results with your own database we're going to search uh, vip shop management database which is mean everybody else and if we get it uh, we're going to let you, there's two options going to be here. You'll get to vote if it's correct or not. So you can get vote up or vote down. And I'm really excited about it. <laughs> it's going to be really cool. We'll be independent. I know this will not solve 100%, but 
but it's going to be starting at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent. I believe we can get to 90 percent of, of solving that because we do the same work, man. The same alternator on the same vehicle goes bad, the same oil pan, the same uh, brake pads and rotors. Another thing we want to do, we 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 want to gonna have another setup. What's called a generic setup, basically. If uh, like, what's the brake pads and rotors replacement on a? What's the labor on parts, pads, heads and rotors replacement on a, on a Track Hawk 2018 and 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee? It's not much difference. It's the same time. So we're gonna have something called like average. Basically, like, what, what, is, what is the difference between replacing a sensor that you just remove with your hand? It's called, like, a, it's, it's a known knowledge, basically. Um, I think it's going to be cool. We're, we're going to take it one step at a time. Obviously, it's a huge project, but the, to start a huge project, you got to start uh, somewhere. We want to start one step at a time and, and start with your own database first, and then we'll share the database with everybody and... And we get to vote and see if this is correct or this is not correct. And now we get the real labor guide that everybody's looking for. I know what Techmetric is doing something similar. I don't know if they're doing it the way we're doing it, but I didn't check. I just heard them one time. He's saying they're, they're struggling the same way in a way that they have all the labor guide and they're all wrong. And I'm telling you, it's a problem. It's a problem. A 0 0.5 on four hours job that would kill you, man. That, that that's a disaster. Uh, 2.1 on an AC compressor with AC compressor takes 4.5. You are you lost. You can't even call it. What do you want to call the customer and tell them? So our job is to give you an idea. I mean, you still after that we're gonna put a disclaimer. Obviously, you still after that on you to double check. We're, our job is to share the information, get you uh, information from. Uh, from from other shops how how much they're char I mean how much how many hours they're charging and I believe we're gonna it's gonna start like a snowball it's gonna get build up and build up and build up and we'll have a huge uh, library of database of labor guide in no time I believe in one year uh, we're gonna have a huge labor guide uh, uh, base that continue to build on 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 years coming and all that so uh, I'm really excited. Like I said, it's already. If you update VIP, just click on help, check for update. You will. You're already starting building your own database, basically. Where, um, if if the 2018 Trackhawk with a 6.2 comes back and you already enter the labor, you don't have to enter it twice. Just you know, like I said, like if I enter alternator, um, replace. You see, it's going to remind me automatically it's 1.7. Well, what about alternator check? Let's try that. Alternator check. It's not there. 0 0.5. What if I want to do alternator check again? It's going to alternator check. Well, I guess 0 0.5. Okay, it only works with the replace, I'm assuming here. Oh, did I? Oh, my bad. My bad. I see. I knew there was something wrong. Okay, I, I did alignment check. So what did we say here? Zero plus for zero point five alternator check, and let's say alternator check, not alignment check, zero point five. So we will be able to distinguish between replace and check, uh, and we'll we'll add both. Um, uh, the AC compressor, AC comp AC accumulator. Let's say this will take 1.9 and AC accumulator 1.9. So it's going to be brilliant. I think it's going to be cool. If you cannot get faster data just like that, it's going to check your database first. Like I said, that way you stay consistent with your own sales, with the other customers. And then eventually it's going to be checking everybody's database. And then, so we, we're going to get the average. We're going to be able to vote just like, I don't, know, I don't know if you ever seen that. If this answer is correct, vote yes, or you can vote no. And I believe we can get two, 10 vote and, or five vote and, on one item. We know this is 100% correct. So we don't have to worry about it. Once we start that, eventually we'll do the specification, um, basically the oil capacity and the oil. We already have the oil capacity, but we'll share it to and you get to vote. Um, re remember, your own database is your own database is different. Um, the database that will be shared 
this is when you vote, not your own database. So we'll vote on it and uh, we'll be a good start. We'll be independent. We don't need anybody to give us the labor guide. Uh, you can still rely on, on Mitchell One and Motor and, and when you need to, obviously, because like I said, it's not going to cover uh, the 100%, but I promise you it will cover, it could cover eventually up to 97% of the vehicles after like probably in one year, I, I'm sure we can, we can cover 70%. And remember, you can work, basically you are working on the same cars, keep that in mind. The same parts goes bad, but every once in a while you're going to get that one part you've never done before. That's fine. We'll look it up. We'll find it. You'll add it. And you'll once you add it, it's you add it for yourself just one time. And then someone else will add it. In 1,400 shops, there's a lot of data that we can share uh, between each other. So anyway, I appreciate it, guys. I'm super excited about it. One step at a time. Thanks for watching.